What if Zidane's Real Madrid that won the Champions League three times in a row faces Pep's Barcelona that dominated the world winning numerous trophies and of course playing exquisite football? What would happen? That's what we're going to be finding out in today's FIFA 19 experiment video. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another one of these experiment videos and today we've got ourselves an El Clasico experiment and I'm really eager to find out which team will come out on top. So if you guys are hyped for today's experiment, make sure to show your support by dropping a like on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you're watching my content for the very first time, do subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode as well as experiment videos. Before we get started off with the video, I'd love to know your thoughts on this matchup. If this would happen in real life, Zidane's Madrid, Pep's Barca, who do you think will win? Let me know in the comment section. Let's get started. For the purpose of this experiment, we will be putting both sides in a Champions League final to find out who comes out on top. It's only fitting that this game is a Champions League final because of how successful both sides have been in this competition. This is Zidane's Real Madrid, led by the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo, alongside Gareth Bale. Isco playing in that number 10 role as the Cam, Cruz, Casemiro and Luka Modric in midfield. Luka Modric of course recent winner of the Ballon d'Or 2018 so I'm eager to see how he performs in this experiment video. 91 rated as well so he could be performing big things in this one. Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, Rafael Varane and Carvajal in defense. What a defense that is. Keylor Navas in goal. Zidane had the luxury of a very very strong bench at Real Madrid during the time they won the Champions League three seasons in a row. The likes of Pepe, Nacho Fernandez, James Rodriguez, Vasquez, Asensio, Morata and Benzema. So coming off the bench, Real Madrid have players that can cause a ton of problems. So Barcelona need to be wary of that. So formation I've talked about for 1-2-1-2 two, two, narrow. In terms of tactics, I've tried to replicate what Real Madrid did during those years. Pressure on heavy touch, high line. In fact, I'm going to reduce it a bit. That seems fair. Offensive style balance. They can keep possession and they can counter as well. So I think that's fair to replicate their style. Loads of players running into the box to try and score headers. That is something they did really often. So I think the tactics do represent the way they play. For the instructions of this side, I've got Marcelo and Carvajal to bomb down the wings and create chances, cross the ball in. Casemiro, of course, in that CDM role to stay back while attacking and win the ball back. Cruz, Modric and Isco to, you know, control that midfield, create chances for the front two and Bale to make runs in behind the defense and Ronaldo to just be Cristiano Ronaldo and score a ton of goals. So those are the instructions. Now Sergio Ramos to be captain, Ronaldo to take three kicks, long free kicks, Cruz, penalties Ronaldo and Cruz to take corners. So that is the Real Madrid team that's going to be facing Pep's Barca. Let's take a look at Pep's team. This is Pep's Barcelona led by Leo Messi in that centre forward role with David Villa and Pedro on either side. That was such a good attacking trident. And also, just to confirm, I have adjusted a few stats of the players because, well, I want to give an accurate representation of what they were back in 2011. So, David Villa is an 88 rated player and Pedro is 87. So, in midfield, Iniesta, Xavi, Busquets, greatest midfield of all time in my opinion. It's going to be a good battle to see which midfield comes out on top in today's experiment because even they've got some great players. Abidal as the left back, Gerard Piquet, Mascherano and Alves in defence. Valdez in goal. The defense, I would say, is a bit dodgy, but PK is good. Alves is great. Abidal is great. I'm a bit unsure about Mascherano, but he was great back then in 2011. Now, on the bench, you've got Marc Bartra, Carlos Puyol. For some reason, Puyol didn't start in that Champions League final in 2011, hence why I've got him on the bench here. Adriano as well. He was a bit of a part-time player for Barcelona, but did his job. Was a great, you know, rotational player. Seizo Keita as well on the bench. Jeffrin, a bit of a meme player, and yeah, he didn't really do much for Barcelona, but he scored in one of the 5-0 wins for Barcelona against Real Madrid, so I've put him in there, just because why not? Boyan as well in here, he was regarded as the next Messi, but it just never happened for him. Thiago as well was a youngster back then and was in the squad, so that is the Barcelona 11. Now in terms of formation, false 9 is what I've gone for, because Pep used that formation back in 2011. In terms of tactics, I've tried to replicate Pep's style of play. Press after possession, you know, the 7 second rule, that's what Barcelona are going to follow in today's video. High line of defense, 
offensively keep possession high width as well not many players attacking the box in terms of making runs because they don't really have tall players and again not attacking with corners but with free kicks considerably more so those are Barcelona's tactics that they're going to be employing against Madrid in terms of instructions we've got Messi as the false nine and stay forward Villa to you know stay forward as well and get into the boxes to you know maybe get a few chances here and there Pedro to you know get in behind and make those runs Busquets to stay back while attacking and just, you know, win the ball back, play it forward to the likes of Messi, Iniesta and Xavi. And we've got Dani Alves to make overlapping runs and I haven't really changed the instructions on Abidal. So that is how the team is going to be playing with Xavi as captain, Messi and Xavi to, you know, share the free kick duties, penalties to be taken by Leo himself and corners to be taken by Xavi. So that is, guys, the Barcelona 11 that's going to be facing Real Madrid. It is time to kick off this experiment. Let's see which team wins the Champions League final and comes out on top. Here we go guys, Zidane's Real Madrid kicking off against Pep's Barcelona. Now, if you've watched any of my previous experiment videos, you would know that for the players that aren't actually in FIFA 19 like Eric Abidal and Xavi, I've gone ahead and created them, I've tried to make them look as accurate as possible, so yeah, that's exactly what I've done. But it's time for kickoff, let's see who comes out on top in this FIFA 19 experiment video. Here's Xavi on the ball, out wide to Pedro, back to Xavi and here go Barcelona and Leo Messi might be through playing in that false nine role. Leo Messi gets the shots off early on in this one in like three minutes itself but Keylor Navas was up to the task. He made a fabulous save out there but just shows how good this false nine formation was. Leo Messi cutting through from that central position. Barcelona passing really well in these early few minutes. Messi shoots with his right foot and he's put this one in. Leo Messi is on fire in this one and he puts Barcelona into the lead. Pep's Barcelona have taken the early lead against Zidane's Madrid and the goal comes from who else but Leo Messi with that right foot of his. He's playing once again in the centre forward role and it's coming through. Sergio Busquets with the assist for that one. But what a strike with his right foot outside of course the box as well. That was a long shot. No chance for Keylor Navas. That was a terrific attempt out there from Leo. Barcelona 1, Real Madrid 0. Still Carvajal may have space to play this one in behind to Bale. I think Bale is onside. Gareth Bale with a chance. PK did so well there and he clears the ball away without much of a problem. Dani Alves now into Xavi. Xavi moving forward. Back to Xavi. This is fabulous football from Barcelona under Pep. David Villa with the chance but Carvajal blocks that one. Barcelona are playing fabulous tiki-taka-esque football. Things are really going well for Pep so far. Andres Iniesta now running forward with the ball. He's got David Villa ahead of him. David Villa now might be able to play this one back to Iniesta. Instead, he goes for Abital. Now it's Iniesta with the chance. Keylor Navas comes up with another save. Barcelona still with only a one goal advantage. It could have easily been 3 0 or even 4 0 up by now because Barcelona are clearly dominating this one. Zidane definitely needs to change something. Maybe utilize that insane bench that he's got. Xavi finds Leo Messi. This could be another chance for Barca. Messi again finds Villa. Villa might be able to shoot. He lays it off to Leo Messi who shoots. And Keylor Navas comes up with another save. Isco out wide now to Carvajal. Could Real Madrid finally move forward now? Still Carvajal. Looks to play this one out wide to Gareth Bale. Real Madrid needs something from Bale here. Cross whipped in to maybe Ronaldo. Dani Alves did really well there to get the ball away. Although the attack is still not over. Casemiro out wide to Marcelo. This is where Real Madrid are dangerous. Ronaldo shoots but it's off target. That was literally Real Madrid's first chance of this one. And they were threatening on the counter. Zidane's Madrid is lethal. So... This game is still on. Anything can still happen. Just before halftime, could Real Madrid get themselves the equalizer? It's Tony Cruz on the ball. Still Cruz. The German finds the Brazilian Casemiro. Casemiro into Isco. This is a chance for Madrid now. Casemiro. Isco with a chance to bring back Real Madrid into this game. Gets the shots off and Isco scores. And it's the equalizer just before halftime. And I must say this has come against the run of play. Because Barcelona have dominated this first half. It's been an intense Champions League first half. I must say that. And the scoreline is 1-0. Zidane's Real Madrid somehow find themselves in a good position going into this second half. No chance for Valdez there as Real Madrid have equalized 1-0 in the first half. Just look at these stats for the first half of this final. I mean, Real Madrid just haven't been good at all. But still, the scoreline is 1-0. 8 shots to 2 for Barcelona. 6 shots on target to just 1 from Real Madrid. 54% possession and overall, Barcelona dominated the game. 
the second half will definitely be interesting because Real Madrid are now back on level terms. Busquets. Busquets. Whoa, Busquets with the step overs. What's going on here? He never does that in real life. Still Sergio Busquets now on the ball. Busquets maybe looking to find a pass or something. Finds David Villa. Still Villa with a chance maybe to shoot. Finds Leo Messi. Oh, what a goal from Barcelona. That play was just so nice. Excluding, of course, Busquets. Um, doing them step overs, but who cares? Messi ultimately scores and puts Barcelona into a 2-1 advantage for Pep Guardiola. Busquets finds David Villa. Look at that for a pass from David Villa. He did some kind of a skill move there to play the ball into Leo Messi. And then once Messi gets it into that position, and he, he we know how good his finesse shots are. He just slams that one in, curls it in. Thing of beauty, that goal. And Barcelona now lead 2-1. The game is back in Pep's favour. James Rodriguez has been brought on for, of course, Isco. So that's going to be interesting to see how Real Madrid now perform with James in here. Already they're going forward. Carvajal finds James. Could this be a chance for Real Madrid? Still James. Maybe onto his left foot now for a shot. Plays this one inside to Cristiano Ronaldo, who is onside. And Real Madrid have pretty much equalized immediately. James Rodriguez providing the assist. This game has been nuts. Worthy of a Champions League final. Pep versus Zidane is probably going to go down to the final minute of this game. Ronaldo with the equaliser. Take a look at that from James. He just comes on within like two minutes. Provides a fabulous assist to Cristiano Ronaldo. And Ronaldo from those positions isn't going to miss. Kind of similar to what Messi did a few minutes ago. Fair play to Ronaldo for scoring that. Busquets still looking for the pass, finds Xavi, Xavi to Leo Messi, Messi could shoot now, Messi shoots and Messi scores a hat-trick against Real Madrid in this Champions League final experiment that we're doing. What a performance from Leo Messi and this is what Messi did under Pep Guardiola in so many games and he's doing it once again in this experiment to help Barcelona triumph over Real Madrid. Xavi gets the assist for this one but look at that play from Leo Messi. Messi in that false nine role as the centre forward is practically impossible. Possible. No way Navas was saving that. Pedro has been brought off for Jeffrin, who's 69 rated. What is Pep thinking? You know, bringing on Jeffrin in such a big game. But oh well, it's Pep. We can't really doubt him. Although, this might be a chance for Xavi to score with his left foot. Navas comes up again with a save. Real Madrid trying to go forward. What a pass that is from Casemiro into Gannett Bale. And this could be Madrid's chance to equalize. Bale with the chance to score. And he wastes the opportunity as it hits the side netting. Madrid have found chances hard to come by in this game. And if Bale wastes them like this, it isn't going to work out for them. Cruz, this is it. Real Madrid's final chance. Tony Cruz now on the ball. Can they equalize? Cross whipped in. Dani Alves gets it away, although the attack is still on. Luka Modric, Ballon d'Or winner on the ball right now. Still Luka Modric gets the shots off with his left foot. Victor Valdez comes up big with a huge save. Still 3-2 to Barcelona. And there you have it, guys. Barcelona come out as winners in this experiment video. Pep Guardiola's Barcelona triumphs. Over, of course, Zidane's Real Madrid. Leo Messi scoring a hat-trick from that false nine position. And this was a super fun experiment to do on the channel. So there you go. That's the result. Barcelona comes out on top. So according to FIFA 19, Pep Guardiola's Barca was better than Zidane's Real Madrid. So that is it, guys, for today's experiment. Let me know what experiment video I should do next down in the comment section below hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did make sure to show your support by dropping a like on the video subscribe if you're watching my content for the very first time and i will see you guys very soon with another video on this channel